I believe in equality for everyone. Sure, let's support gay marriage. They should be as miserable as the rest of us. Let people decide freely what they want to do in their free time. Even if they choose something as ridiculous as sports. Hell, if I ever see a jogger smiling, I might even consider it. But most importantly, everyone at work should enjoy equally fast network speeds. But what's the reality in modern offices, Sean? If we're about equal speeds for everyone, we obviously mean fast speeds for everyone. How do you know that some guy in accounting streaming YouTube videos in 4K quality is not stealing bandwidth from people trying to do actual work? Where is all your bandwidth going? I'm glad you asked, and it's why we're here. But before we start, some of the options I will mention require specific kinds of hardware, free ports, and management access to devices. With that in mind, let's start figuring out who our bandwidth bandits are. Check statistics on your device. Many devices provide statistics as part of the user interface. If you're in luck, your device will tell you which ports are causing the most traffic and which IP addresses or protocols are responsible for that traffic. This requires you to have the relevant management access to the device and also that your device can provide the stats, SNMP. The next step is Simple Network Management Protocol or SNMP. SNMP provides metrics to measure things because that's what metrics do. SNMP provides metrics to measure the amount of traffic in and out of each port. To use SNMP, you must first enable it on the devices. Also, when using SNMP, keep in mind two important factors. One, the version of SNMP that your device offers, and two, the read community string, which is like a password for SNMP. SNMP tells you the amount of traffic over time on each port. If specific ports have spikes in traffic, you know that devices connected to those ports are causing problems. Armon, or remote monitoring, is about as in fashion right now as sandals and socks, but it's still a useful extension to SNMP that you can consider. It gives you the number of drops, collisions, oversized packets, CRC errors, and more. It doesn't directly tell you who's hogging your bandwidth, but it may point you in the direction of the network rather than a specific user. Flow protocols. Disclaimer, I'm about to say the word flow a lot. Let's go. A flow is like a conversation between two devices. Flow-enabled routers keep track of each data packet that they see, and they create a flow record for each flow that they recognize. So for example, all the data flowing between two ports of two IP addresses would be seen as one flow. Flow protocols include NetFlow, SFlow, JFlow, IPFix, Flexible NetFlow, and NetFlow Lite. Flow-enabled devices can send flow information to flow collector devices. Flow collector devices receive flow information from multiple devices and then can create reports about the flows. Using a flow monitoring tool, you can get top lists such as top talkers, like servers or PCs generating the most traffic, top protocols and top connections, and so on. And that's where the real power of bandwidth monitoring lies. With these top lists, you can figure out exactly who or what is using all your bandwidth. You found your bandwidth bandits. But we're still here. Why? Well, not all devices support flow monitoring, or maybe you don't have management access to the device. What then? Packet sniffing means using an additional device, such as your laptop, to sniff traffic and analyze the results. The best way to sniff traffic is to configure your router to mirror or span all of the traffic it sees to an unused port. Then you connect your sniffer device, such as your laptop, to that mirror or span port. Of course, this does require administration access to the router to configure it to start mirroring or spanning in the first place. You now need some kind of sniffer software to analyze the statistics and produce the top lists similar to what you get from NetFlow. Taps and packet brokers. If you still haven't found your problem, there's one more thing you can try before you quit your job and go home. Taps in combination with packet brokers. Taps are physical devices that are installed inline in your network. Because they're inline, they see all of the traffic and can send copies of that traffic to a central monitoring device. The monitoring tool called a packet broker collects the traffic from your taps and forwards it to a network monitoring tool for analysis. Problem is, taps are expensive. However, many consulting companies offer network analysis based on taps and brokers as a service. That means if you really, really need to track down a problem and the steps that you've tried already haven't helped, you can get someone to tap the network for you. Like the CIA, they're good at tapping things. 
Installing TAPS does require temporary interruptions to the network, so this is probably not something you want to do too often. Okay, hogging bandwidth sounds like an awesome office activity. With a little expertise and a questionable conscience, you can have a lot of fun with it. If you're looking for a healthy way to use up bandwidth, you can put our YouTube playlist on repeat during your office hours. Thank <laughs> you.